Good morning, folks. We've got just three things we're focused on today. The last day in space weather, a 10-year swarm meeting, and a major study on solar energy input to the Earth. Let's start, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. The departing sunspot gave one last flare goodbye as it turned away, and otherwise it was a very quiet day. No significant eruptions on the Earth-facing side. We do have some quick notes on the plasma filaments, the ongoing solar wind event affecting Earth, and the large northern coronal hole. First, that major filament between the coronal holes has survived for days. It's beginning to turn away now with only minor ropes behind it. Happy to see that big eruption threat march towards the departing limb. Hopefully we recall the coronal hole stream that we entered yesterday. It is minor only, but still ongoing. Purple panel, you see the plateau is still there. Luckily, only minor geomagnetic excitement at the moment. Northern coronal hole directly faced Earth overnight meaning that its solar wind stream will arrive middle to late week, but its alphane waves and direct magnetic connection to Earth are active. The earthquake watch begins. Up next, we're back where we said we'd be. Months ago, we gave notice of this major meeting for the 10-year anniversary of Swarm, and now it's only eight days away. I'm very much hoping that some observers will be in attendance, and I'll be making a special video soon explaining which sessions are the most important and what exactly you need to ask the scientists when the questions and interaction times come up. Last but not least, fantastic paper confirming a critical fact we've seen before, that the joule heating of the atmosphere from geomagnetic storms and space weather events is underestimated. We saw this several years ago with the Binning study, but it has been utterly ignored by mainstream modelers of the atmosphere. Let's see them ignore it again. Basically, what it means is the direct compression injections during CME impact, underestimated. The solar proton effect at the polar region when they break through, underestimated. The whole atmosphere excitement from those protons and from geomagnetic storms, underestimated. And the consequent impact throughout the atmosphere via the global electric circuit, underestimated. That would be the effect on pressure cells, clouds, temperatures, storms, and more. Folks, don't forget that the next members-only live stream event is tonight. We'll be sending out the attendance link to everyone subscribed to the Observer Review today. The next e-magazine issue is two weeks away. Still time to sign up and be there tonight. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.